reported a little bit earlier on the new polling out just this morning that shows a major boost in approval for President Biden. According to the latest Associated Press NORC Center poll, 45 percent of Americans now give Biden a positive grade for his job performance. That's up 9 percent from July, though he is still underwater at 45 approval, 53 percent disapproval. The president's numbers are up, though, with virtually every group. His support has is the most among black Americans in recent months. 75% now say they approve of President Biden's job performance, up from 46% in July. Wow, that number had been at 67% one month earlier in June. NBC's Tremaine Lee joins us now from Houston. He recently hosted a town hall with students and educators from Texas Southern University on what is at stake in this election and how a wave of Republican resentment of critical race theory plays a part. Tremaine's town hall special, Into America, The Power of the Black Vote, will begin streaming on Peacock this Friday. Tremaine, it's great to see you. So what did you hear in this town hall? And I'm curious what you make of this huge jump in numbers among black voters for President Biden. I'll tell you what, Willie, we, we talk about black voters and young black voters as, as if they're out there in the ether somehow. So we wanted to come to Texas Southern University and engage with black students and educators and changemakers um, about what it's like to experience um, what essentially is the most uh, one of the most gerrymandered states in this country, but also ground zero in this fight over critical race theory about how race and history are taught or in the case of Texas, not being taught um, in this state. And so students are organizing around these ideas that they don't see a, a difference between those who are pushing and implementing anti-CRT laws, those who are attacking reproductive rights, those who are um, stripping the franchise from black folks here in Texas and across the country. And so these are um, galvanizing forces. And so we wanted to come down here again and just talk with them directly and have honest conversations um, about what it means to be a black person in this country, but a black voter in this country in this moment. Okay, so with that as the backdrop, let's watch some of the town hall. In this clip, Tremaine talks about black voter enthusiasm with a conversation about how young black voters see the fight over critical race theory. Let's watch. You know, one thing I hear over and again, especially from the, the political analyst types, mm -hmm. is that, you know, black voters are apathetic. Young black people in particular aren't plugged in. And I wonder, with everything we've heard this last hour, how do you think all that will shape how people on this campus and young black people more generally We'll be going to the polls. Is it shaping how they're thinking about the midterms coming up? Yes, I really think so. And in documentaries like the South Lake Project, even reading 1619 Project, I think it puts it into perspective why it's so important and why they are really stripping this history. Uh, Eddie Gloud, obviously, this is something you've studied very closely, something you teach at, at Princeton University. Um, what do you make of what you've heard so far, some of these clips from the town hall, but also just more broadly about what will be central to black voters come November? Right. So, first of all, congratulations, Tremaine. I mean, it, it seems to me very clear, it is very clear that in a moment where the na nation feels as if it's cu the cultural and demographic shifts are changing the very nature of the country, that there would be an assault on the story we tell ourselves. Right? There's this sense that we're losing, at least among a certain demographic, white, Republican, evangelical men more, more than likely, right? they feel that there's sense they're losing their footing. So it makes sense that they would challenge any challenge to the story that we tell ourselves about the country. So I wanted to ask Tremaine, as you, as you talk with the students at Texas Southern, which is a wonderful institution, by the way, uh, with an extraordinary president, how do they, how have they responded, not only to the attack uh, on, on critical race theory, whatever that means, but also the kind of hesitancy around defending voting rights, the failure to pass the George Floyd Policing Act. How do you square that with the increasing number or support of, of, of President Biden in this moment among black, black voters? The, the one thing I heard, uh, Eddie, and it's good to see you, uh, the one thing I heard uh, time and again is this kind of frustration that they expect us to show up, they expect us to organize, and they still give us crumbs. It's not until get out the vote. That's the only place the money and effort goes at, in the ninth inning. Uh, but they say there is great frustration that in this moment it is time for the administration, if they want their vote, to really lean in, uh, not to kind of uh, be mealy-mouthed and, and kind of 
defaulting to that, that center. In the time when they feel that they are being assaulted on all fronts, it's time for the administration to step up. With that being said, they are also very pragmatic and practical voters, as we hear time and again. And so they're kind of still, uh, you know, pro-Joe, uh, but they want more in this moment, especially it's not lost on them. These are students who are not only engaged, but they're talking to their families. They're talking to the folks in their communities, and they are a force but it's a matter of whether Democrats will actually tap in their force and show up, not just in ninth inning, but really um, addressing some of their needs and concerns. This is just a little taste of what you'll see in the town hall into America, the power of the black vote. It begins streaming tomorrow on Peacock, a critical conversation as we look to Election Day less than two months away. NBC's Tremaine Lee in Houston this morning. Tremaine, thanks so much for bringing it to us, and we will be watching on Peacock. Come